This is the small billet I made in my last video by fire welding some small scraps together. If you haven't seen that, check it out. I'll use this today to make a knife. This little piece is surprisingly hard. I need to give a shout out to DK Wolf and to Ron Thacker for their recent generous donations to the channel. So this is my cleaned up little billet. You can see this one end here is a bit rough and I'll make that the back end. I've never made a folding knife and so I'll just try to do the most rudimentary one possible. The billet is annealed and I'd like to drill one hole. No go. This piece I've created is just too hard. So I go to hot punch a hole and man, I can't even hot punch in this little piece. I think I've created vibranium. Somebody call Tony Stark. I have one more trick using an old drill bit. Finally, sorry for exposing you to hairy leg vision for so long. I'm working on shaping the blade and wondering how this folding knife will come together. I've started working on the piece of wood. I used my angle grinder with a cutoff disc to cut that groove in. At this point, I think most of you are thinking that the Boy Scouts make better knives. But I'll stick with my vibranium knife here and work it out. If I was able to go back to the Stone Age with this technology, I don't think I would even be the best knife maker then. Since it will have no spring or locking mechanism, I'd really like to be able to use a thumb screw like this to apply tension, but I was unable to find a properly sized one. So I found this fastener and I think this will work in a pinch.
So there it is. I guess you could call it a GS Damascus style billet special. It probably wouldn't hurt to have a thumbnail groove. I'm actually somewhat surprised. This steel is the real deal. This knife is sharp and it holds an edge very, very well. Here's a tip. When doing the final honing passes, hold your blade at a steeper angle than the bevel. It'll take your knife from sharp to stupid sharp. I saw a video recently where a guy said to only hone and strop at the angle of your bevel and I respectfully disagree with that. I want to thank everyone who supports my channel. I'll catch you guys next time.